What's up, folks? Welcome to Woodworking Against the Grain. Look here. Spring is in full bloom, and it's got me in the mood for a strawberry cake. So we're going to bust one off today. I'm going to show you how to make a good homemade strawberry cake out of some fresh strawberries. If you don't have fresh ones, frozen ones will do. This one here is going to be off the chain. We're going to put a strawberry cream cheese icing on it when we get, get it out of the oven. It's a three-layer cake. I'm going to zoom the camera in and let you see what's going on a little bit here. We're going to run through this pretty quick, so pay attention. All right, right here in the mixer, first thing we're going to do, we're going to put in this cup of butter. That's one full cup of sweet cream butter. We're going to turn that on. It's room temperature, so it's pretty soft. To that butter, we're going to add, let's see here, two cups. of granulated sugar make the butter good and sweet now while we got that creaming right there we're going to go ahead and sift our flour you know the drill here I got three cups get over here where you can see it I got three cups of all-purpose flour right here to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of baking powder and about a half a teaspoon of salt just to keep that from being bland on you. This right here is a three ounce package of strawberry jello. You know what jello is? Jello is what you eat for dessert when you can't have what you really want. But it's okay in this recipe. We're going to add this dry jello to our flour mixture and we're going to run that through the sifter. We're going to run this through the sifter a couple of good times here. Get all the knots and lumps out of the flour and kind of get that jello all the way through there till this whole situation is just a little bit pink. Now that's our dry stuff right there. We're going to just set it aside while this uh, butter and sugar is creaming here. I'm going to have to give this one more good scrape. I should have cut that butter into small pieces, I guess. Once that comes together and makes pretty good, gets creamed up pretty good there, what we're going to do, now this right here is a cup of pureed fresh strawberries. Now I got that pretty liquefied there, but it's good and sweet. Gonna make this cake really good. I'm gonna add this to the cake instead of milk. Now this is a three layer cake, so while you're doing all this, make sure you got three nine inch cake pans and you got the bottom of them greased and floured so this cake doesn't stick. Doesn't do much good to go to all this trouble and then you can't get the cake out of the pan. Makes me mad. Now that's pretty creamy right there. I know you can't see it, but trust me, pretty creamy. Now I'm gonna add four whole eggs to this. You can use eggs, whatever kind of egg you've got. These happen to be fresh right out of the chicken eggs. You can see, you can see how orange that yolk is. That's a fresh egg. That egg's not more than two or three days old. It's going to make this cake really yellow too until we put the strawberries in there. If you were making a yellow cake, and you could make it with fresh eggs like that, you would have a seriously yellow, yellow cake. Now we got our eggs, we got our sugar and our butter mixing up good here. What we're going to do now, we're going to spoon this flour into this mixture and alternate it with this strawberry puree right here and then we're going to put it in the cake pan. Don't run off. Turn your mixer down kind of slow for this process because it'll sling flour on you. Just spoon you about three or four heaping tablespoons of flour in there. Add you a little bit of that strawberry stuff. A lot of strawberry flavor in this cake and then the icing too. We're going to make a cream cheese buttercream 
icing to go on this that's got strawberry flavor in it too. So, last but not least, we got to add a teaspoon of vanilla flavor. This wouldn't be right to not add that. Now I'm going to scrape down this bowl one time and then I'm going to take this out and put it into three prepared nine inch cake pans. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for 25 minutes. When it gets done, we're going to take it out, let it cool in the pans for about five minutes. Then we'll turn it out on some racks and let it cool all the way. Then we'll put a strawberry buttercream icing on it. Don't run off. It's going to be yummy. All right, we got our cake out of the oven. We're about to make up some strawberry cream cheese buttercream icing to go on that. I'm going to tell you how we're going to do it, and then I'm going to zoom the camera in so you can see a little bit about what's going on. In the mixer, I've got two sticks of butter softened the room temperature, and an 8-ounce package of cream cheese at room temperature. So we're going to just start creaming that, let that get mixed up and happy together. Then we're going to add a fourth of a cup of the strawberry puree that we had left from the cake. That's what's going to make this turn red. And then we're going to add about six cups of good powdered sugar. So I'm going to turn this down here where you can see what's going on. We'll whip up this icing right quick. Once that cream cheese and butter gets mixed up pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and add this strawberry puree. Put that in there first so I can see if it's going to turn it pink enough to suit me or if I want to add a little bit more. You've got to be careful and don't add too much because it'll mess up the consistency of your icing. You want it to be pink, but you also want it to be thick enough to stay on the cake. Down in there, now right here in this little bowl is a, about a half a teaspoon of strawberry extract. Now all that's going to do is give this a punch of strawberry flavor. Our icing turned out nice and pink. We're going to smear that on the cake, see if it's any good to eat. Stay tuned. All right, folks, we got our cake out of the oven, and we got it iced up. It looks pretty good there. What we're going to do now is we're going to carve into it and put a chunk of it in our mouth and see how good it is. So I'm going to zoom in here where you can see what's going on with the cake, and we'll eat us a bite of this. Stay tuned. It turned out to look pretty good. I'm just going to cut a little small piece of this just to see how good we did here. That looks pretty good. See how this, if it's as good as it looks. Oh yeah, that's okay. Thanks for watching. Come back to see us.